Okay, here's the indoor part of the tour of my solar panel system. Behind me, you can see the monitoring system called an E-gauge. It's kind of a mess because I added a couple of extra monitoring circuits for the two EV connectors out in the garage. Now, the way this connects into my panel is there are a couple of breakers here. So this one comes from the PV system and you can see there's this bright warning sticker that lets anyone servicing my electrical to know that there's power coming in from here if the sun is shining and the system is on. Uh, let's see, here's the E-gauge monitor. So this breaker actually runs over to the E-gauge uh, so that it can monitor the voltage on both legs of my power. And finally, there are, as I mentioned, two electric vehicle charging circuits here and here. And these are both 50 amp circuits that are used to charge my two EVs. Here are the two EV charging circuits that I installed in the garage. They're just two 50 amp circuit breakers that I showed on the service panel. And these are NEMA 1450 plugs. You can see I have a Tesla mobile connector plugged into one. And then this Bouge RV charger plugged into the other. And I kind of rigged the cable. Let's see if I can show that. So the cable goes up and over the canoe here and is a way of dropping down to the Chevy Bolt, which is right plugged in right there. So the whole thing kind of looks like this. Kind of a lot of stuff in the garage, but everything's out of the way and easy to maneuver around. And then from here, we can go outside via the back door of the garage. Nice, bright, sunny day, so we should be generating some power. And here's the solar panel system. Uh, what you can see here is several meters. So this is the main meter, the original meter. Power coming in from the utility and going into my service panel. Then we have this meter, which is actually coming from the inverter. And the sole purpose of that is to measure the amount of power that I'm generating uh, irrespective of any load. And that is for the solar rewards program at Xcel Energy here in Minnesota. And you have a, a cutoff switch, which is required for safety. Again, you can throw this and the solar panel PV system will be completely disconnected from everything else. And then finally, I have this solar edge inverter. This is a 10 kilowatt model. And I think it's probably too bright to see, but if I push that button, you can see how much power we're currently generating. And it says, wow, 6.6 .6 kilowatts, pretty good. So we're generating a lot more than we're using right now. And basically the panels are up on top. I'll go around to the front and show you the panels. Okay, here's the outdoor part. There's two arrays, one on this part of the roof, and then one up here. So there are 20 panels on the large part of the roof and eight more panels over here. Okay, so here's a tour of the eGage webpage. And this page is produced by the E-Gauge box that is down in, in the basement next to my power panel. You'll see here we have power generated, the green line, power used, which is the red line, and then the areas that are shaded indicate whether we're putting energy out to the grid or we're drawing energy from the grid. In the last 24 hours, the area under the curve is quite a bit bigger in the green, so we've net sold 20.5 kilowatt hours. I can select and deselect uh, different 
graphs here, different uh, parts of the graph. And I'm going to deselect the power used to make it easier to see the Tesla EV charging. So this little block here of a couple of hours with the dot dash line shows an even 4 kilowatt draw at that time. And you can see that that's shown in the at the bottom of the page here as the EV1 Tesla circuit, which I named when I installed the monitoring for that circuit. The bolt outlet is also being monitored, but we haven't done any charging on the bolt in the last 24 hours, so we don't see any of that. You can also do summaries. Over the last 30 days, it's been pretty sunny. We're past the spring equinox, so we've uh, had more sun than, than night and generated an even one megawatt hour in the last 30 days and only used 662 kilowatt hours. So generated about uh, twice or uh, half again more than we used. You can also pick different time frames here. Over the year, I don't generate as much as I use. Partly that's due to uh, the two electric vehicles that are being charged. But you can see I generate a, a good portion of what I use over the year uh, with the solar panels, which have a total capacity of 8.4 kilowatts DC. But as you can see, that winds up coming down to about 7 kilowatts peak uh, when things are cool and the system is generating at, at max power.